All right, so today we're going to go uh, down to Shallow Inlet and do a bit of fishing. I got a bit. We've got a little Isla and the other two Matilda and Edie. Yeah. So three, six and ten. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as raw as possible with the kids because I think a lot of shows these days, if they take kids, they, they only show you the good bits. So I'm going to try and film as much as I can and, yeah, try and keep it as as real as possible. Um, yeah, just to give people an idea what it's like to, to go fishing in a small tinny with three kids. So it can be super rewarding, but it can also be probably one of the most challenging and patience testing things. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna head down there now. It is an absolutely ripping day here in South Gippsland. So we've had absolutely terrible weather for the last probably nearly two months and with obviously work and everything else that goes on in life we haven't had a chance to get out so we're pretty keen. Isla thinks she's going to take her floaty but the water's going to be a bit cold for that I think. So we haven't actually made it out of the driveway yet but this is pretty normal. Radio, we're down here at Shell Inlet. I just wanted to stop quickly here at the boat hole. Um, it's obviously dead low tide now, so low tide is an awesome time to come down if you're not sure like where channels are and stuff like that. Come down on a big low and you'll, it's quite obvious. At high tide, all this is underwater, so it's high tide, it's, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell where to go if you've never been there. Sometimes channel markers are wrong because they do move and sand obviously moves too, yes? Okay, yes, you can unbuckle. Um, yeah, so low tide's awesome for that. You come down and you'll see straight away where the channels are. And yeah, some good polarized sunnies, that'll help too. Looking for crabs. Yep. No going in the water, please. Yeah, don't go in the water. First thing when we get here, we always just chuck life jackets on. Um, yeah, obviously by myself, so it's hard to get the boat ready, put it in, and keep your eyes on them at all times. Because, yeah, kids love to run off and not listen all the time. So, yeah, they've got the life jackets on. It is quite shallow here for a little bit, but obviously it does drop off. So, yeah. That was a classic example. This um, old couple over here just come up to me and started asking a heap of questions about, like, fishing. They've got grandkids they want to take out and asking about the life jackets and everything. So... That's kind of what today's about is, yeah, you, I just see it so often. I don't know everything, but yeah, we seem to catch a few fish. So try and share a little bit of that and help people um, with kids to try and catch fish or even with our kids, it doesn't matter. But yeah, obviously kids are going to enjoy it a lot more if they can catch something. They're not usually too fussed what it is. They just got to catch something. So yeah, we'll try and share a bit of that today. Right out, I'm going to put the boat in now. So you got to hop out the way. Back there. Oh, this way, please. Matilda. Matilda. What? Are you listening? Yeah, well, you're not because I'm asking you to come over here. There's a billion crabs over that way, you can say. And then don't move, please. Quick tip on the sand in the wet, it's obviously soft. Um, I only got a two wheel drive car, but if you just be a bit careful, it's fine. Turn your car off as soon as you can. The vibrations from it running will soften the sand, and when you go to take off, you'll sink. So, light boat, it's pretty easy. It floats in about a couple hundred mil of water, so yeah, we just push her off here and we'll be sweet. Ready to go? Yeah. I think I forgot to mention earlier too, um, obviously low tide here at Shallow, um, you can't get out of the boat hole because the channel runs around out into the main channel and you run out of water. So yeah, we launched straight here at the beach. 
So yeah, straight into the channel today and we'll probably come in the boat hole later on as the tide's obviously going to be running in. So yeah. What's that, Bobby? Snacks. You want snacks? We just put the boat in. That's um pretty typical of the kids. You want to make sure you've got snacks on hand because literally just put the boat in and she's hungry. So yeah. She's gonna have to wait till we get where we're going and then we'll have some snacks. There's another chocolate in there for you. Righto. Let's even catch a size one. Jesus, didn't even lose a bait. Oh, look out, tail's on. He's alright, bit skinny. Wait, grab it, I've still got my bait. <laughs> there you go. I don't want you. Yeah, you do, grab your cloth. Oh, this. Grab him around the eyes. That's it. Then you can sit your rod down behind you. Sit your rod down behind you. See that down there? I've still got my bait. Have to get me. So these are the little bait thieves. Little undersized whiting. King George. Alright, right, send him home. Mullet. Dad. Yeah, my mullet jumping. So Edie May's lost a bit of interest. She's having a bit of a lay down. It's all good. Just throw a bit of squid on her hook. It'll be a bit harder for the fish to get off. And put that there. If she catches, gets a fish on there, she'll spring into action and wander in. In the meantime, I've lost my bait. So it's slack tide. We're just losing baits to little tiny whiting. So while we wait for the tide to get going again, Edie's still got her bait. We're going to go and have a look a bit further up into the system and maybe try and catch a few silvers or something like that. He's got himself a silver. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I think that's looks like a good one though. I think it's a good one too. Right, take your bait away. You still got bait. You can try again. Okay. Some silver. Alright, there you go. Yeah. Try and grab him with the grab rag. Grab him with the rag. Don't let the rag go. Off he goes. Finally. Looks like oh, that's a whiting. Any little tiger. Little, you call that little? Yeah, it is little. Oh, I call that big. We're measuring. He's probably size, but he's just just skinny. Ooh, he's 30. Yep, he's thirty. Is he size? Yeah, we'll keep him. Oh, finally, something to actually be able to keep. So we're running a bit low on um, fish in the freezer, so he's a bit skinny, but we will keep him. Quick, arms in. Let's go. Arms in. Now. Do not take it off again. No, I need to do that. This fucking kid. If you take this off again, I'm going to cable tie it on. Right? Good job. Do not take this off again. Or you want to catch a fishy, you need to leave your life jacket on. 
Right? Otherwise, you'd be swimming with the fishies. And not in a good way. I caught my actual really big one. No, you got your big one on a squid head. There we go. There you go. A little squid head works as well. And he's not even a big fish. <laughs> Grab him! There we go. All right, we're gonna let that one go. Oh, but I want to check No, him. well you can check his size, but then let him go because he's a bit, bit small. Fish on! Well done. I was waiting for it to do that because I think it was really bump, like bites. Nice and steady. Good job. Alright, now size. get a little bit more and then lift. That's it, now lift, not even over your system. That's it, walk backwards a little bit. Lift him straight in. That's it, and down on the floor. Dad, good call. I need that Yeah. <laughs> grab the line, Edie, and hold him up so you can grab him around the nose, around the view on the eyes. That's alright, just grab him. Yeah, you got him. That's okay, I'll be able to help you there. Alright, short intermission while we get him unhooked, and then we'll be back. I said, I love you, Dad. <laughs> you love Dad. Hi, Dad. I love you too. Well, I love you. I love you too, Dad. Aww. I love you more. I love you more too. I love you. The whole universe! Well, that's a lot. Yeah, I know. I love you guys. Oh, we've got a bit of Ben going on. Oh, nice fish, Eddie. Nice whiting. Step, walk backwards and lift him in. Oh, my. Don't lose him, Eddie. That's all good. Lift, lift. Walk backwards and lift in. <laughs> right on. What's your idea? That's it, he's a ripper. Oh, wow. Alright, let some of your line out. Let, don't wind him up. Let some line out. That's it. Let more line out. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Alright, now sit your rod down on the floor. Down on the floor. Yeah, okay. right. Do you want to measure him? See how big he goes? Okay. He's well and truly sized, but we'll see. Where do I start? Start at zero. What do you got? You got his nose on zero? Yeah. And his tail up to 36 at the tip. Cool, nice fish. Yeah. Yay, can you move that bucket, please? Yeah, let's wait on. I'm going. Where's his bucket? No, we've got seven. Well done. He's a ripper. We've got seven. You better. Fish. What did you catch him on? You had pippy? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll chuck, um, chuck another bit on and put it back, will we? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ah, missed him. Stupid watch. There we go, there's one. Oh, there we go. Watch the camera with hooks. Yeah. Good. Dropped him in the boat. Now you gotta grab him. Only just thirty. Like, just, just, just. No, I want it. What's that on your foot, Dad? Mud. There's another one. See what I mean by squid? Yeah, squid's hot on, isn't it? This one's got a bit more go. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> I don't think you do. You got him? Or you want Dad to do? Okay. No, that's got it. Now you got him. Got him, got him, got him. I mostly got him this time. He wasn't going to get off. Chill's on. What do you got? Dad, you want me to show you where this was? Whiting. Dad, this was actually a nothing up there. Tee hee.
Good catch, everyone. <laughs> yeah, but the that we didn't get the bloody fish. No, we didn't. I was... Yeah. So anyway, that's the setup. Just a small long shank. You don't need big hooks. Short leader, especially when the tide's running. You only need like you know maybe 30 centimeters a leader. As light a sinker as you can. Uh, as the tide will allow you so if you don't know how to test that you'll drop it in obviously it'll hit the bottom <laughs> grab, on. grab onto him yeah so finger on the line and if you just lift your rod and let it go back down you should feel it sort of go thud if you're lifting and you can't feel anything the tide's probably just pulling your line and if you're not on the bottom, you've got less chance of catching a whiting and less chance of feeling the bite as well. Is he a keep, Dad? 31, he's a keep. What are you doing? You just dropping your line over? Yeah? Yep. Yeah, I think you've let enough line out now. It looks to be a long way back. Do you want to put your bail over? Why don't you show me how you wind him up? Point your rod towards the back of the boat, Bobby, and then you can wind him up a bit easier. Look at that, good winding. Radio, Edie's cut me up some fresh little bit of squid. With a very sharp knife? Yes, be careful with that very sharp knife, Edie. That's very dangerous. And We've got a little squid strip, we'll just thread that on a couple of times, leave him dangling. And cast it! This is what I'm dealing with. We need to leave this on. Hold you before. No, if you take it off again, no, it makes you warmer. Life jacket makes you warmer. Alright, well you need to leave this on. Alright? Take two. Let's see if we can get another one. Can I cut up this, Dad? Yeah, nobody more. Dad, can I cut up that? Oh, I should be really careful with that. Oh, nearly. So if I was um, if I was using pippies, stop that, you. That's busy. I would check my bait straight away after having a, a bite like that. But we're using the squid, so it's a, yeah, a bit stronger, it'll stay on the hook. Hopefully you get a second go. Let's check that bait. Yeah. Oh, you dummy! So you can forget about what I said. Because apparently they can get the squid off too. But generally, the squid is a lot harder to get off. Unless you're just whiting what's down here and then... Got some bait. I just go. Squid is quite hard to cut. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey. There we go. I said we're not going to the sand dunes till you catch one. So I what does she do? She's catching one. She's catching one. Hey, Dad, right. I'm not finished yet. Oh, you're not finished yet. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah. Slap on you. Grab him. That's it. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not finished. Yeah. 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 Hold up out the way. Yeah. Uh, I'm not finished. Wait, open it out. Hang don't on. Don't touch it. my beetle. Fall down. Don't drop Dad's camera over the edge. Oh, oh God. Oh, dear. Righto. There we go. That's it. Oh, what would you like? Squid? Squid, please. Oh, Are you telling a story there, Bobby? Are you telling a story? Mm -mm. No? I need you guys to be. It sounds like a good story. One shot, that's one shot. Anyway, back to it. Okay. See if I can actually lose this bait this time. Hopefully, to a fish. And a bait. Oh, come on. I'm really getting shown up here. It's going to get. My dad's going to catch the fish. I bet. Your dad is trying. I usually. Up until I start filming, nailing them first go. Of course. Hey, Dad, can 
I heard this and try to give you help. Yeah. 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 Camera yeah. comes out. Yeah. And I'm just getting absolutely nailed. That's what you mean. Because I'm getting bites. I'm getting bites too, and I can't hook him. Hey Dad, I kind of throw it like a stepping stone. Oh, like I need to go. Yeah, it went like a stepping stone. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This camera is absolutely bad luck. That is guaranteed. Don't tell everybody who you said it was bad luck. No, I'm just saying. We were hooking them first go until I started filming. Now we can't land one. Well, Matilda did. I'm just no good at fishing, obviously. You might be able to see too, me just lifting the rod gently. There he is. Oh! <sighs> and he's done me. So, yeah, just Let's go. giving your rod just a little lift, keeping in touch with the bottom. And yeah, also adding a little bit of movement to your bait, keeping the fish interested. Hey, man! You move. Oh, I can't! Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to sit there. You're going to knock the camera and it's going to fall in. Thank you. Dad, I don't like. Why are we fishing? What do you mean, why are we fishing? You said once we, once I lose this boat, we're going. Did I say that? There we go. Finally. I don't think he's a monster. The flatty. First flatty of the day. Yay! That's got to be 2.8. Definitely. Grab the, the de-shagger. Here we go, that's better. Yeah. What's it actually like, silver? Fighting. Back below the lining. Stop! Sit to it. I'm going to show you why they call them a kidney slapper. That's a better fish. Because they slap. Lift them in. Uh, grab them on the side where you obviously kidneys are. And they start slapping. But that's the easiest way to grab them. I just want to grab it around the ice to the right. Oh, no, no, no. Measure him, Dad. Want me to measure him? <laughs> oh, he's going to knock the camera down. Dad. He's 32. So they're not massive fish, but they're this size. So. Well, we got two massive ones. Oh, he's dived me. I've right, What are we doing? Are we still fishing or are we moving on? Moving on! Dad. Oh, I'll have one more go. Well, if you're having one more go, I'm having one more go. One more cast, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, one more go. Oh, yeah. One more go. Yeah. One more go. Hey. Sit up. All right. I need to sit here. You need to sit there, Edie. Sit up, please. You're taking up too much room. Well, you're laying down where Isla's trying to sit, and then she's sitting on it. A little bit small that one. So. Ah, I'm trying. Yeah. Stop sucking and get up, please. You can't. If you want to lay down there, go up the front. Ah. Well, you can't lay down there where I was trying to sit. I don't want to lay down up there. So yeah, fishing with kids. It can be fun. And it can be patience ah. testing. Are you hitting your sister with that? No, she's not. Yes, she is! I just do it like that. Okay, well, I don't think you should do that because it, it, it could hurt her and she doesn't like it. I didn't eat it up there. Well, no. I, can you not, if you keep doing that to Edie, I'm going to take it off you, alright? I don't think that hurt you. Yeah, it does hurt, so don't do it. Does it hurt you, Dad? Yes, it does. Did that hurt you? Yep. That's a hurt my like that. Did that hurt you like that? Stop, please. Got him. Ah. Oh, no. Until it's on. Dad, oh, he's gonna be hitting me. Where are you going? Taking him. Oh. I've got this not moving. I got that. I've got it. There it is. White tang. Ah! Oh, I'm going to 
one mile out. Look at this big guy thing. Yeah, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn this to We'll go after the sun then. I feel like this is better, I promise we'll go. I'm gonna start stilfishing. It sounds like I'm, when I'm talking to your mum. Yeah, yeah, just one more bait. Me bait after that one. He's exchanged my bait for some seaweed. It's probably another thing I should mention too. Um, like rod setup, you do not need heavy rods for whiting. This is a 2500 size reel, the Shimano Strike. Yeah, um, you can even fish with a 1000 size, and it still heaps. 20 pound, 20 pound braids heaps as well. That's what I'm using. 20 pound leader. And the reason why I fish 20 pound is because it's not that uncommon to, you know, a bit of bycatch. catch. A lot of people catch kingies and stuff like little rat kings on whiting gear. Big flathead, stuff like that. So you run 20 pound, you're pretty safe. And yeah. Your rods only need to be like this is two to four kilo, so something like that. Actually, I haven't had a pack of chips. Yeah, don't fish too heavy, it just makes your life hard. But I can. No, you can't because I'm in there. Yeah, but Daddy. Oh my god. Yeah, but my love is chips. Yeah. No more. Here we go. There he is. Oh, I missed mine. That's also another tip. When you're winding them up, leave about the rod length of line, and then you can just lift your rod and lift the fish straight in, and you, it'll come straight to your hand. Grabbing behind the eyes. You see, it's so often people wind the fish all the way to the end of the rod, and then they can't grab the fish. So, yeah, make sure you leave enough line to just lift him straight in. No need to net. These dudes. All right, are you still fishing? Uh, I've got a bit of bait left. Oh, well, if you're fishing, I'm fishing. Here, Isla, quick, you want to wind him up? Isla, quick, I've got a fish. Wind him up, stand up, stand up. That's it, wind him up. Lift up and wind down, remember? Not on the camera. Lift him up, quick. Bring your rod over this way a little bit. That's it, one, one, one. Got him. Till's on two. He's a double hook up. Bust ups all round. Where's all this fish? Keep winding. Got mine. That's all right. <laughs> We've got a tangle up. Keep winding, lift, one. <laughs> Dad's holding the rod now, is he? Don't hold it. You want me to hold it there? Yeah, I'll be around the back. Oh, okay. There you are. There is he. All right, and stop, and then we lift, 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 lift. Dad, what's that? Hey. <laughs> Dad, Where's he what's... going? Hang on. Dad, what's Dad, that? Coming Let... out of his bum. Hang on. I can... oh. <laughs> Dad, what's this coming out of his butt? That's his poo. Oh. As you can see, it gets a little bit chaotic. I can't even speak anymore. Chaotic in a small boat. And Stop! No, 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 Daddy's gonna slip out. But. And he's shoved the hook up his nostril. You don't need big boat and flash gear to catch fish, especially not like white tang. Yeah, white tang. White tang. Right, are we happy now? Should we go to the sand dunes? Yes! Please! There's some pretty cool sand dunes here at um, Shallow Inlet, so we usually like to. Like Dad. Go for a fish and then if things are a bit slow or the kids get a bit restless, we just run up to the sand dunes so they can have a bit of a play. I get to hold it though. So, yeah. No! Yeah, because then you know I've got a nice feed of whiting. So, like, it's been an awesome day. It's the yell out some first time in ages that we've been able to get out I have to hold while the weather's good. The weather has just... There's been minimal yeah, good days play. and obviously working Monday to Friday <laughs> doesn't leave you much time. Oi. Among other commitments. So, can you stop standing behind me? You make me nervous. Things are going to fall in. <laughs> Sit down. What are you doing? 
Hey, rock the boat. Rock the boat. Don't, Dad, you rock rock the boat. Rock. Dad, you lucky camera! Dad! Dad, the camera! Righto, let's pack up and go. Yeah, okay. Now, it's um, part of the rules if you're the oldest kid. Oh. The easier if you stand up.